You're on to TVC News at 10. Empowering rural girls to become health workers is a new initiative of the Katsina State Government to extend quality health care services to hard-to-reach rural areas. More than 100 nurses and midwives have been trained in the last three years and absorbed into various health facilities, as TVC News correspondent Ablatif Yusuf reports. These beneficiaries of the program are proudly celebrated by the government of Katsuna State. Their successful graduation is an ample evidence of a program that has grown from strength to strength over the past three years. Majority of them were selected from the rural communities and less privileged families to bridge the deficit in health personnel in rural communities. It's actually a great opportunity because after my graduation from secondary school, I actually lose this hope because I lost my dad then. I don't know anyone who will support me financially and morally to come to further my studies. So I was fortunate to, to be one of those women for health who will recruit as a student to study nursing in School of Nursing, so I'm actually very happy. It is evident that the majority of young girls from rural communities did not have the support to pursue health-related discipline at tertiary level. So as you know, majority of our women, girls in rural areas, they lack quality education that will enable them to graduate. So that's why we go around and collect them and then we give them the necessary additional academic support they need. And that is what we call Foundation Year Program, so that we give them foundation in science to enable them to go through. And so far, alhamdulillah, uh, in the last uh, three years we've been graduating, they've graduated 107. Kazuna State Governor Aminu Bella Masari stated the determination of his administration to widen the scope of the program to ensure health care services reach every nook and cranny of the state. You believe in something good, but you say you are your daughter and you are wife will not go to rural area. Then who will go? Who will go? And all these things you are saying that if we don't if we neglect the rural communities, they will mobilize one day and take over the urban centers. And what do you do? So we have seen it. All these insecurity issues, Boko Haram, all these, are tied down to failure of providing the most basic needs of life in the rural communities. Some communities, you wouldn't believe that they are living in Nigeria or even in Katana State. They are far, 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 very, very removed from even big villages. So we have to come up with a program really that will help those communities. It may be extremely difficult, not impossible to take somebody to live there but you can use what is available. And I do believe that in most of these communities, if you don't find somebody who is illiterate in Western education, most likely you find some that are illiterate in Islamic education, which you can use in order to train them how to take good care, especially in, ter in terms of delivery, like we have seen here uh, demonstrated. Despite the successes recorded with the program, a lot of communities still don't have access to quality health care services and other social amenities. It is the reason why the state government is more determined to ensure the continuity of the program. Abdullah Yusuf, TVC News, Katsuna.